G'day guys, Josh here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. And we're gonna talk about, you know, with the Raffle of King Paladin, what buffs you need to keep up. And you know the game style of it at all. We did touch on it touch on it a bit in the previous video where we said just basically what you want to be doing is just bombing hollow lights in the tank. However, as every single class, it's not as simple as that, okay? It's not as simple as that. But let's just keep going. So the buffs that we gotta keep up, okay? So first of all, let's go to the first buff, okay? The obvious new one in, you know, in Raffle Kick is Beacon of Light. If you got Glyph, it's last 90 seconds. If you don't, it'll last 60 seconds. 100% heal transfer, regardless of overhealing. And you may be like, why would Josh mention that? Back in the old days, finally enough, until they fixed it in a later patch, it used to be effective healing. So if you overheal a target, and let's just say you heal a target for 10k and 6k of it was overheal, the Beacon person would only receive 4k. Now, with Beacon of Light as well, this is a little tidbit which we might talk about later, is that you never heal the Beacon target, okay? Why? Because the Beacon doesn't transfer, okay? And also, you, you don't get mana back either. The only expansion where you get the mana back is funnily enough in Cata, which is the next expansion, which I don't think many people are going to play. Next up is going to be Sacred Shield, okay? I know it's only one target, last 60 seconds if you've got talent, last 30 seconds if you don't. Sad face. If you don't have Guardian's favor, then I don't know. So you get a refresh after 60 seconds. I do believe... I do believe you can have multiple, but the effectiveness is less because I don't believe you can have the... You can have two buffs, but you can't have two Sacred Shield buffs. Next up is Judgment of the Pure. So if you don't know what Judgment of the Pure is, is you judge and you get 15% haste, okay? You want to do that every 10 seconds, 20 seconds at least. Why? Because you want to keep up either Judgment of Light or Judgment of Wisdom. Okay, so 20 second duration. So you want to refresh that as well. And it's very easy to refresh as well. Problem with refreshing these Judgments as well, be aware with Judgments, is that you have a hard 1.5 second GCD because Judgment isn't a spell. Judgment is a melee ability, okay? So all this spell haste that you're getting does not actually affect Judgment. So those are the four buffs you gotta keep up. Okay, generally speaking, four buffs. There's also Light's Grace, which is uh, 15 seconds as well. 15 seconds, uh, 0.5 off Holy Light. Um, I guess to be blatantly honest with you, there's no way that you should lose this buff during the fight because you're probably spending Holy Light to begin with. Um, the other one is Infusion of Lights, which comes from Holy Shock, Crits, this being sacred like with Holy Shock, you do want to use it on cooldown. If it crits, you can just smash someone up as well. Holy Shock is actually really, really good on the move as well if you need a heal. Now, another thing as well is Divine Favor. I know I said, you know, it's enough for the uptimes, but Divine Favor, two minute cooldown. Next cast is 100% crit. This favors Illumination. Divine, uh, oh man. I forget the spell's name over and over again. I've got the back of my head, but I keep always forgetting it. I think it's a Divine Illumination. It is Divine Illumination. I was right. 3 minute CD. I think that reduces to a 2 minute CD, actually. And that's 3 minute CD. Uh, next 15 seconds, all casts are 50% mana. Are 50% of their mana cost. So you got a lot of things to keep up as a Holy Paladin, okay? And... A lot of buffs and rotations keep up. We can even talk about the blessings as well. And I can tell you right now, those are a lot of things, a lot of uptime that you gotta keep up on. And this is where, you know, glyphs are really, really good here as well, because with the glyphs for the beacon, it means that every 90 seconds, you have to sacrifice a holy light if you need the throughput to refresh, okay? Sacred shield, same thing, judgment of X, let's just say, same thing, so every 20 seconds you're gonna judge. And then last but not least, uh, sacred, no, we've got sacred, we've got beacon, divine favor and illumination. Same thing as well. Now we also got other things as well that we gotta keep up, which is arcane torrent, which is off GCD, just an FYI. And you get Divine Plea, okay? Every 60 seconds, okay? You can actually make it a lot longer depending on how your mana pool's going basically as well, but every 60 seconds. Now Divine Plea, same thing. 
get sacrificed a holy light to refresh it. Arcane Tori, you do not. Does not need to sacrifice a thing. So you can see here, with your buffs that you need to keep up on other people and stuff like that, making them last longer, such as Guardian's Favor, Beacon, and Judgment, for example. Those, those obviously Judgment you can't make last longer. But the longer you make them last before expiry, the more holy lights you can bomb on the tank, okay? So for Beacon and Sacred Shield, since you have to sacrifice a GCD, which is about 1.2 seconds, you're basically sacrificing roughly a holy light every time you cast those abilities to refresh. Same with Judgment as well. So be aware of it as well that to keep these buffs up, you are sacrificing something in return. Now, Judgments as well will give you 15% haste. Sacred Shield and Beacon just makes your next cast improve throughput, keep and absorb on the tank, or transfer healing to another player. And as I've always said as well with Beacon, never ever heal your Beacon target. So you can see here how important glyphs and uptimes are for these classes as well. Sorry, um, guys. How how important they are. Now, with keeping up Light's Grace, it's not really important because the first Holy Light you cast will be probably, you'll probably chain cast it and the buff should never really fall off during a fight. Infusion of Light, generally with my Holy Shocks, I generally do Holy Shocks if a target needs an instant heal or if I want to try to get Infusion Light crit to get a next crit my Holy Light. Basically, with Holy Shock, it's an instant spell, so if someone's, like, you know, almost dead, you can Holy Shock them, Beacon will transfer it over, and then you can get, you know, basically maybe an instant flash of light, or another bomb, a Holy Light, which could crit. Now, the Five Favor Divine Illumination, generally I use these at the same time. The main reason why I use these at the same time as well is that if it crits and it costs 50% mana, you get a bit of a benefit back or less, or you lose less over the begin with. Now, next up we're going to talk about is Avenging Wrath. Avenging Wrath increases your healing by 20%, okay? And that's every three minutes. I think it's two minutes in ret. Now, with Avengers Wrath, Avengers, I think it's Avenging Wrath. Avenging Wrath, you do, you sacrifice one ability, okay? Now, with Avenging Wrath as well, you will probably want to use it in combination with Divine Elimination or Divine Favor. You don't have to, but you can use it whenever you want to improve your throughput. The main thing we're going to say right now, do not use it with Divine Play. Okay, even though you may think, hey, 20% will offset the 50%, make it 70%, it actually only makes a 60% extra, a 60% healing of what you could have healed if you didn't have Avenging Wrath. So it's actually a downside to it as well. So make sure you don't use it during Divine Play. That's one thing. But anyways, guys, that's the ones you want to, you know, to the ongoing to keep up and whatnot with the buffs that you want to keep up on yourself or other people to increase your HPS. Now, the next one is going to be the rotation. What is your rotation? Okay, so you want to use Divine Plea at the start. Basically, later on, you can use it. No, off cooldown. Torrent, Divine Elimination, uh, Avenging Wrath, Divine Favor. I'm just going to list a whole bunch of abilities. Okay. You want to use these off cooldown, okay? So when it comes to cooldown, you want to use it right away because these will increase your MP5 and there's no specific moments for it, okay? Beacon and Sacred Shield. You want to keep as close to it expiring as you can. Okay, so 60, 90 seconds. Now, Judgment, you got 20 seconds. If your Judgment is compulsory, which is most likely going to be since Rep Paladins are shit and most people will take one Prop Paladin. If not, Prop Paladins aren't really that strong either. If your Judgment isn't isn't compulsory, I'd say 55 to 60 seconds for your Haste buff. Now, as you can see here, a lot of your rotations can be off cooldown because you need to have these abilities off cooldown to keep your regen above your... to keep your regen to keep bombing Holy Lights. So generally your main rotation will be spamming Holy Light. Unless spamming Flash of Light is enough, okay? So you got two buttons. You got Flash, you got Holy Light, okay? If you think a Flash is going to do it, use Flash. If you think a Holy Light's going to do it, use Holy Light. Pretty much just simply put. Now, Holy Shock, use on CD when on the move. Or, you know, if someone needs an instant top up. And also, the same rule is never heal your beacon target, okay? Can't say this enough. Never heal your beacon target. Okay, even, 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 you know, even put up here, okay? Even highlight up here. Never heal your beacon target, okay? 
So your rotation IFB is going to be using your CDs off CD, taking a second shield, stuff like that. Now you might be going, oh, we have Divine Sacrifice as well. Well, Divine Sacrifice is a unique one. Divine Sacrifice, make sure you use it with Bubble, okay? And we're going to put Hand of Sacrifice here as well. Okay, make sure you use a bubble, which is divine shield. You can use, you can use hand of sack with blessing of protection. Okay, be aware of that. Okay, you can use these with blessing of protection. Use it with bubble. Use it when the raid, not the raid. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Use it when told to by a raid leader. Okay, you do not want to do it out if the raid leader's got a set cooldown of what to do it. Just make sure you just be use it when you're told by the raid leader, okay? Um, that's generally with divine sacrifice. If the tank is taking, if the tank, if like basically situational as well, with hand, you want to use it generally when the boss is doing a high single target ability or damage ability or end rage ability, you know, has it on. To the tank and if you're doing this make sure you bubble first then the hand okay you don't want to die from hand of sacrifice that's what i'm trying to say basically okay so basically hand of sacrifice transfers 30 percent damage or 35 percent damage i believe to you and it, it um it only lasts to a certain amount of hp of damage that you take so the main thing is if you don't take any damage it lasts forever effectively and that's pretty much it with the uh, rotations, the buffs, the utility that you have as well. We could also talk about Blessing of Freedom, or not Blessing of Freedom, Hand of Freedom. Salve and Protection. This will be situational use at best. If a boss has a slow, maybe use it. If boss has a, uh, has a uh, physical... What is it? Physical CC that damages. There's a few bosses in particular, Culling of Strathome. The first boss, Patchwork boss, has one. Uh, used bot. And then you've got Salve if DPS get high on threat. Salve them away, okay? Now, I've not put Righteous Fury up. Righteous Fury, you never have on unless there is a fight where ads need to come together. For the tanks to pick up. Again, okay, there's a few fights like this. There's very few where I probably probably will have Righteous Fury on just to heal everyone so that other healers don't get aggro. Main reason is that pallies are plate and you rather then take hits than the uh than the others, okay? You can do this on Safri on free Dra Safri on free drakes where a holy party can just use Righteous Fury. So the pally tank or any other tank just basically just sit on him or put villagers, villagers on him and it's constantly talk, taunt non-stop. So that's one example of as well. That's what really, really useful. I don't use Righteous Fury that much, but if I did, that's probably the main reason for it is I would just do that so the ads come to me. I take a bit of damage, but the tanks can taunt it off me. It's better off being on me than there's being on a priest or a drew where they basically can get one hit. Anyways, that's it, guys. That's going to be the rotations, the buffs and stuff the uptimes, everything that you need to keep up as a holy paladin. Thank you guys and have a great day.